Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to let you know that late yesterday in my region on the 6th of November, Google started rolling out the early stable update for Google Chrome. And this they do to test a couple of things in the browser before it rolls out a week later to the general public. And most including myself would not have received the update. But nonetheless, just a quick one just to keep you guys posted and in the loop. Now, first of all, um, when the update does roll out to the general public next week, we will be bumped up to version 131.0.6778.33. And just a quick overview as to what I've kind of pulled out of the Chrome platform status and what maybe I think we could see when it comes to one or two new features. Now, first of all, as I have been posting earlier today, um, if we just head over to Canary, I think um, we are going to start seeing more of the new toolbar, which is a feature that um, I have been expecting for quite some time. And this is a customization feature that lets you add the toolbar buttons and icons to the toolbar. And in Chrome version 129, this rolled out and behind an experimental flag, I posted earlier today that on a controlled rollout using a server-side update, it was appearing um, on one of my Chrome devices, um, one of my Chrome browsers in the stable version of Google Chrome. So I think we can expect to see this making, kind of making more way into the stable version in version 131. But I'll leave that video I posted earlier today linked down below and in the end screen. And then from the Chrome platform status, I've just pulled one or two little tidbits. Um, there's going to be new CSS features. And if you don't know what CSS features are, basically in a nutshell, it's a design language intended to simplify the process of making web pages presentable. So what it does is it basically de determines the visual structure, layout, and aesthetics of a actual web page, which I think is important seeing we are dealing with a browser. And some of those CSS features will be improved styling for details and summary elements better emoji font control and more precise anchor positioning for web pages and then we also get to get um, a performance optimization which is going to include smoother scrolling which i think is always handy when you are dealing with different web pages and so on so those are just a couple of little minor tweaks and adjustments that i thought you may be interested in when it comes to features taking place under the hood. And that's it, guys. Besides the security updates, which um, have generally rolled out with the version upgrades, I don't think we're going to see too many front-facing features. But I have found, though, um, that Google from time to time does surprise us with the version upgrades. Some of them um, don't include any new features. And then sometimes we can get a couple of new features. But nonetheless, Chrome 131. So because it started rolling out on the 6th, I would say that either next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, version 131 um, will come out of its early stable and make its way to the general public for general availability. And when that does happen, obviously, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.